uh, I'm out fixing my battery right now. But I wanted to put a secondary ground strap on the uh, driver's side battery to the block. And I'll show you how I do that. But uh, I, I just don't like the way this, this driver's side battery is grounded. So I took my air cleaner off my uh, thing right there. So I got this 40 inch cable here, ground cable. I want to definitely get it to the block somewhere. And that's the original, that's the ground strap right there. You can see it somewhere in there. That's the original ground strap for the uh, passenger side, but I want to maybe get it down here somewhere. So right there. I'm hoping I can run it down there and get another strap on the block. I just don't like that there's only, there's only one ground cable on this side. So this side actually has a ground cable that goes to the frame and the block. The passenger side, the driver's side just goes right to the frame. So, as you know, if you've been watching my previous videos, my battery got toast. The one that's actually under remote load, which is the uh, starter side. Um, even though they're, in theory, they're connected together, but this one, because it's closer to the starter, gets more draw. There's more resistance to the uh, driver's side battery, so cables are longer. So, yeah, typically, since I've had this truck, this passenger side battery always uh, wears out faster. Gets worked faster, so I'm gonna try to get a ground strap in here. So direct block ground strap. All right, got this thing done. I'm gonna flash it real fast. Get my camera in a position where we can see it, hopefully better. So I took that little bracket piece off there and I put that ground strap. Used my wire wheel, cleaned up all the surfaces, and uh, I mean, it throws that plastic uh, thing out of alignment probably about a millimeter, if even that. Like once the thing is crushed down, it's probably more like I don't know, maybe a millimeter, half millimeter, probably I don't know, maybe three quarters. But uh, and also look at the um, zip tie. I put the zip tie right there so this would keep the in case this thing actually got out of here. There's no way that thing would. If I was off roading, that thing wouldn't fall forward and get caught into my belts. And we'll go on the top, and I'll show you. I kicked at the top, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, the reason why I have it to the block is that uh, the starter is going to get directly to the block. I want more starting power and to stabilize my other grounds because I just feel like one strap on that side is not good enough, you know? Like, they didn't do it on the, on the, on the, on the passenger side, so why, why didn't they do it on the driver's side? They should have done the exact same thing on the driver's side. So, alright. Alright, there it is on the top. So, I just basically put that thing right there and zip tied it. And goes down but uh that's it guys put my air cleaner back to the air and all right cool